Hello guys and welcome back to episode 20 of Dragon Quest XI Echoes of an Elusive Age. This is Pika and holy hell it's been about five weeks since I last recorded this thing. So yeah I, I'm so glad that they've got this like this is what's happened so far thing because otherwise I would have completely forgotten. Anyway. Our heroes are in Galopolis where they have come in search of the supposed branch of Atrasil that they hope will make them reach the world tree. The Slayer of the Sands has been spotted, and Axis finds himself helping the hapless Prince Ferris once again as he is sent out into the Celestial Sands to ensnare it. With Sylvando's enthusiastic assistance, they manage to capture the creature and get it back to Galopolis, but it promptly breaks free of its chains and goes berserk. Sylvando suddenly appears again and with a few choice words whips Ferris into a frenzy. The prince stands firm, and while it takes Sylv to strike the killing blow, his swift exit leads the future sultan free to soak up all the glory. Having finally learned his lesson, Faris comes clean to his father. He also raises the topic of the rainbow, and the party's relief tests incredulity as the sultan reveals that he sold it to a travelling salesman to pay for the Sand National. The party leave Galopolis in pursuit of the salesman, and are accosted by Savando on their way out of the gate. Unable to bear the thought of the Dark One bringing despair to all and sundry, he insists on joining Axis and his pals on their quest. With his new addition to their merry band in tow, they take off for Gondolia where it seems Sylph has a ship they can use. But we actually took a detour and went to the place that we actually need to go to afterwards, after we go to Gondolia. Sorry, spoiler alert, but it's actually kind of funny that I went there first. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is use zoom to there. It's Gemma Sweet. Innocent Gemma. I like the little like snippets of lore and stuff that they have here. It's kind of fun. It's cute. And to music. Um. <laughs> Being that you can't climb it while mounted, you just like drag the horse up. And there are five of them, they could just like push from each side, push and pull from each side. That would be funny. No, I don't want to fight. If I did want to fight, I would be fighting you. Straight on ahead. Oh, oars. Yes, please. You always, you can't say no to oars. You can always have, you can never have enough. Gold, copper, and copper. Cool. No, it was no, it was iron, copper, and gold. Even long. I completely misread. I hope to not get myself confused. And this one. Then this one. Maybe. Hopefully. Please. Oh my god, the were tiger is asleep. I love it. It's cute. Uh, wrong one again. Yep, I'm going the right way. Let's go to Gondolia. Entrance tunnel. Because all posh places need an entrance tunnel. God damn. Yes. 
So, how is everyone doing today? I've been suffering from tension headaches and sinus infection for the past couple of weeks, which is not fun, but you can't really do anything about it, can you? Oh well. to be had here. Rich merchants from all over the world, ships full of treasure, you name it. And this is where you're keeping your ship, Silvando. The ship that you own. Don't tell me you're some kind of millionaire. <gasps> oh, come now, Ronnie, darling. You know it's not polite to pry. All right. The docks are in the southwest of the town. Last one there, Sir Rodney. <sighs> Benvenuti a Gondolia. Welcome to our town. Here you can buy the famous products from all over the world. Mm, you want to visit the dock? It's in the west part of the city. Maybe it's better to check a um, magno. So, again, this is another area, another place where you can find armor that changes a specific character's um, appearance. But I need to find, because it's a little bit of an annoying way to get, get it. You'll see what I mean in a bit, if I can find it. Up uh, here's... Or do I have to sleep for day until daytime? Because if I do, that's going to be annoying. Um, computer, thank you. Okay, it's daytime again. Don't need to sleep. Remember where? Where the? Because I know it's in this town, I'm certain it is. Is it this guy? No. This one? Nope, cakes, not the place. This one? There we go! Prego, prego, you want a beautiful cat suit, see? I have the most beautiful cat suits in all of Gondolia. 12,000 gold coins, hell no. So, this, um, cat suit, I have to talk between two people over and over again. Prego, prego, you want the cat, pretty cat suit, see, it's very cheap. Are ah, you interested, Benny? One cat suit, 10,000 gold coins. No. Basically, I believe the two men we're going between are brothers, from what I remember. And they always try and one-up one another. Most beautiful cat suits, um... Hey, my brother, he offered the same cat suit for 10,000? Oof, he always does this to me. 9,800, no. I believe the cheapest it goes down to is 1,000, so we're gonna be here for a while. <sighs> Triple generous nine thousand no. I'll leave it up to you, but you regret this, I promise. It's like talk about <laughs> I'll leave it up to you. He sounds so nice and he goes But you regret it because you're not buying it off of me. Eight thousand Why does it feel like I should be able to go up there? Yeah, but they are brothers. Um, so now we're at 9,000. 
8,000 even. 4,000, it's already gone down. A lot. Four thousand no. I don't have the money for it. Four thousand two thousand no. Because I believe he goes down to one thousand, from what I remember. One thousand... Let's see, does it go lower than one thousand? This is what I need to know. Okay, so I'm going to go back to him and go one thousand. Because... Jesus. There we go. hat from the armor shop cool and now because we're going to the armor shop we'll actually be able, you'll be able to see who it is for I do already know who it's for obviously but kind of wanted to leave it as a surprise for you guys for when I go into the shop no. let's see yep so it is for Veronica as you've noticed and it makes her look absolutely freaking adorable. You will see in a moment. Uh, equipment. Veronica. Yes. Just look at her. She even has a little bell on her top. <laughs> it's so cute. I need to do some grinding and some selling and stuff. Uh, shell. Equipment access. Everything. Magical. I want to keep on magic. So magical. Yep, yeah, it's all the same. Pickle. Cool. So yeah, I'll sell some of my old equipment. Do not need this one anymore. Oh my god, he has a nature soul leaf. I didn't know that. Ken, I didn't remember that. Keeping the hair bands for later date. I'm keeping the silk robes as well. Need to keep the fish nuts for later. You got perfect. I'm gonna quickly look at the weapons before I go to the armor. 
Hey, is there no weapon shop here? There is no weapon shop. There's just no weapon shop. Wait, do they have the um, weapons here? No, they don't. Damn. Yeah, there's no point. Ooh, I'm going to six. So. Another cape. Oof. Ooh, 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 ooh. Taking up my five defense. The bunny ears. Hmm. Iron helmet. Yeah. No, I want to buy the iron helmet, damn it. I think I can just about Serena bunny ears, yes. And that will actually change a character's appearance another time as well. Not quite yet. Senor Universo. Eh, eh? I'm sorry with my bad attempt at an Italian accent, but I'm trying my best. I should really be. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I should really be trying to look in the house and search to see if there's anything that I can pilfer and plunder and all of that good piracy. Oh, there's a pot. Oh, flags and thread. Yay. Crafting stuff. Minimal, yeah. Top floor. Might as well check. Nope. Annoyingly. Nope and nope. This bedroom had nothing for me, gosh darn. I don't think he's very dangerous, you just met him. Camera away, nice. Just quickly. Nope. We'll have to remember the city for later anyway. Let's go to the inn. There's a book. Noah's art. It's amusing though, I must say. Oh, another book! Somewhere under the rainbow. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's really cool lore. That's really cleverly done lore, actually. 
Oh, there's a ladder. Nice. Is there something up here? Oh, there are two pots. Single file and nothing. I'm not sure whether that was worth it, to be honest. Wait, 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 what? Okay. Ah, this is why I needed to go over here. On top, because there's a treasure chest up here. Okay. Fire and magic water, pretty chill. Nice, nice. I mean, you can't get mad at some magic water now, can you? There's three pots over here, so. One. Oh, 21 gold coins and nothing. Oh, medicinal herb. Do 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 the Capitan of the biggest ship in Gondolia, he take me aboard to sing for the sailors. I travel everywhere, it's so much fun. Molto divertente. Even the sea creatures come to hear me sing. One time I even see the face of Una Sirenetta, a real life mermaid. Ooh. Why do I feel like that's um gonna be us needing to come back to talk to him for a quest later on in the game? I lose my job, she. And you know who is to blame? It's the Darkspawn, Piccolo Diavolo, Devil. If he no escape from Heliodor, the monsters no come, and I no lose my job. <laughs> Why do I like acting so much? Oh, there's a chest. Let's see what I get. Oh, I care, Rivia. That's a. Uh, I can't remember what it. It's a necklace that uh, does something, but I can't. Quite remember what. Caravia. Pendulum that prevents spells and abilities from being sealed away. Yes. Um, but if I move the enchantress gloves off, what will that do instead? Eh, that's fine. Um, Veronica already has the plus three. So that means that her healing spells won't be removed. Shh, silencio por per favor. Make the noise my sister, she found me. So you're not talking to me, capiche? <laughs> oh, hide and seek when you're kids. You need your, like, if you ever had like younger sisters or really, really close friends, you remember how good hide and seek used to be. Charming. To the west of the city, they said. Ah, that's taunt. That's a taunt because you can't actually get there yet. What well damn. That's a very, very late game item that gets you get taunted with for the whole time. So you finally have the item that opens the stupid gate. Oh, item shop. Grazie mille for choosing my shop. I get bored if I have no customers. I order. The item shop, what can I do for you? Utility belt. It'd be cool if I had the money to do it. <laughs> eh, not enough. Not good enough. Boring. And we also need it for us. There's a door over here that 
Which remember about for, for another item that we won't get for a while. Eh, don't need to go to the tavern right now. So many things to come back to for this area. I had a feeling there's going to be a book here, so I wonder what it's got. Uh, recipe book, yes! A degree for fun and profit. Gold platters, gold brains, uh, gold brains, gold chains, even gold braces. Cool! I can make that shield for access and self as well. If I have enough gold and enough supply. So, another special thing about this city, apart from the amount of things that you can't get to yet. Um, here's the fact that you can actually ride on these gondolas. It's quite fun if you think about it. You can only ride on them inside the city, which is kind of understandable, but... I like, like, almost the world-building aspect they have for, for it there. You know, it's always fun when towns and cities have different aspects to them that you can't have in other places. Fine, I'll do a puff puff. You freaking Shakespeare wielding witch. Hercules, of course. He is an hero. This way. All right. Yeah. A wandering wonder. There we go, finally. And we can see Veronica in a little cat suit in cutscenes. Can you believe it? This mean, mean man won't let us into the docks. It's nothing personal. The docks are off limits for everybody now. It's because of la competizione. I'm sorry if you can hear the music in the background, that's so my I guess father. See, is the only choice. I am sorry, but Senor Universo is molto, molto importante event for people of Gondolia. Senor oh. Universo, you say? Naturalmente, Senor Universo is for men of all ages, 
Dress well like a breeze and deep like the sea. The reason why Condole has filled with a strong and admirable man in this moment. <laughs> I love a little pageantry. We can sample some local delicacies to get ourselves in the mood. Well, good. I'm not that bothered about whatever silly contests they're having, but I am quite peckish. I'd love to try a few local treats. Seriously? We're not here on holiday, you know. We're supposed to be looking for the rainbow. Right, Serena? <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I'm really rather hungry myself, and, well, we can't leave until the contest's over anyway, so... <laughs> oh my god, Veronica's <laughs> keeping in a little cat suit. Hey, listen, we're kind of in a hurry here. Naturalmente. The person in the charge is Dojo Rokoro. In the charge. He's in the charge of everything in, in the charge. His villa is in the northeast part of Gondolia. You... You heard the man. I'm sorry, but in the charge. And while I'm over here, well, I don't forget. Should be an item in one of them. Yep, no more bulb. Cool, chill. Do... Directly in front of you after you cross this bridge. This one? Uh, yes, just one. This must be the. <laughs> to ask him a favor. Bene, I am Doge Rotondo. Always I am happy to help. Huh? I have nothing to say to you. Niente. Now you must go. Andate via. What the? Hey, wait. So much for Malto Gentile. Met kinder judges. He took one look at you and freaked out, huh? Wait, you don't think. Nah, how would he know you were on the run? And why just you? Huh. Oh, there you are. Veronica's managed to get herself into a bit of a scrape. Please, you have to come and help. Take that kid anyway. Still, I guess we won't be sailing out of here anytime soon. Might as well go see what's up. Give it back, you dirty rotten thief! It's not like you can use it anyway. A kid like you wouldn't have the first idea what to do with a wand. Why no? You are the kid, just like me. Anyway, I only borrow, no steal. What's going on here, Serena? We were just walking along when he came out of nowhere and snatched her wand. We caught up with him here, but he won't give it back. Hey! <sighs> here, don't let it get swiped so easily next time. I 
name is Benigno. He is my friend, Placido. He's the only son of the Doge Roton. Every day we are playing together. Molto felice. Happy, happy. But then Placido, he loses his voice. I don't understand what happened. I ask, but he cannot answer. So I think, if I have the magic, maybe I can fix Placido's voice. Capisce? Fine, you're forgiven. Now, tell me more about your friend's lost voice. It's his throat. There's some sort of awful... Oh, he's been cursed. Poor thing. I might be able to help him if I had some birdsong nectar. But I'd need some water from a sacred fountain to make it, and, well... Oh, we needed a special, very, very holy water to help Placido. See? I hear people talking about something like this. The river, west of Gondolia. If you follow it up, there is a cave. The Grotta della Fonte. Everybody say its water is molto speciale. Why does it feel like his voice is way too low for how young the boy looks? I know I still have the wand. And I know this is very bad. But per favore, you must help Placido. We are friends since we are the small children. Since we are the And now you are his only hope. You will help him, see? See? And um heartless monster. It's not like you're busy or anything. This is an innocent child we're talking about. Help him. Grazie mille, signore. You bring her the water from the grot. I just wanted to see the reaction of what happened. Anyway, we're gonna zoom back to Grotta della Fonte and that's what we're gonna save and then leave off for this episode save and stuff um i hope you guys enjoyed well i will be noticing it in a minute the doorknob knows no <laughs> oh i hadn't seen that one before oh dearie me so hmm. settle in for the night yes yeah. rest until dawn do 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 If you enjoyed, please don't be afraid to leave a like, comment, and even subscribe. It's been Pika. Um, if you liked it enough, we I do have a Patreon account, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.